Hi everyone and welcome to my next vlog. We all see the wonderful perfect images on Instagram and on our websites but we rarely see the behind the scenes footage or the work that goes into creating the beautiful home interiors. In this vlog I will be explaining the services that an interior designer can provide. There are three main reasons why you would want to hire an interior designer. One, it could potentially save you money. Two, it would definitely save you time. Three, overall saving you one big headache. There is also one main thing that you need to forget. Interior designers aren't only for the rich and famous. These services that I'm going to run through are the services that I provide at Alice Malloy Interiors. The first service that we can offer is a material direction board. This helps create a better understanding of the client's vision for the room or property. It will include images such as inspirational images from various different sources, different material suggestions that would be used in the property or room. So this would either be flooring, tiles, carpet. It would also include some paint suggestions and most likely a I'm on Greek wear finish. We don't actually need to see the property or space in order to do this. The key to creating a good design for our clients is getting to know the clients personally and on a personal level. The best way we can do this is by talking to them either face to face or over the phone or video consultation. Creating a material direction board we go through inspirational images which helps create a clearer picture of the style and it also will help write the brief for the project. On a side note as I mentioned getting to know the clients is key to any good interior design. It's not my house, it's not my project. For me, a good interior designer is like a chameleon and we will adapt the style that the client wishes to have in their home or property. The second service is consultations and site surveys. Now consultations, as I just mentioned, these will be done either face-to-face, -face, via telephone or, during these circumstances, a Zoom call. Site surveys can be carried out if the client doesn't have any current drawings. Either they'll have these or they'll have their architect that can supply them to us. The reason for this is that it confirms all the room sizes, either in the whole property or just for one single room. The last thing you want is to have the wrong sizes and we order in a piece of furniture that won't fit in the room. The third service that we offer is mood boards. Now this is different to the material direction mood boards, these are a full mood board. We will only proceed with these once the material direction mood boards have been signed off. These would include real samples of the fabrics, wooden floor finishes, carpet, tiles, paint, ironmongery finishes, sanitary wear finishes, anything that will possibly be going into that room and will need to be signed off. We will get a sample and put it onto a mood board so you can see it face to face. This will also be applied if you're having any special finishes or feature finishes such as polished plaster or a bespoke wallpaper. Service number four is floor plans. Now the following can be produced in floor plans and can often help aid in other areas of the design. We can produce lighting floor plans, artwork floor plans, floor plans that show the different floor finishes and wall finishes. But the most typical floor plan is a GA floor plan, which stands for general arrangement. Now this is basically just a furniture floor plan and will set out the best way to have your furniture and the best size possible furniture to have in the space. This links to the site surveys. So this can be done without seeing the property if the client or the architect has drawings for the property or space already. I have worked on properties before that I haven't seen and just worked off of the floor plans because all the client wanted was a GA plan for the best spatial arrangement. Of course, if the client hasn't got an architect and doesn't have any drawings, we would then refer them to a site survey where we would go and measure up and draw the plan ourselves. Service number five that we can offer is joinery drawings. These are first stage drawings, so they're design intent only drawings, which covers the design of the joinery piece, the locations, the sizes and possible finishes for the item as well. These will then get sent off to the joinery company that has been chosen for the project and they will be able to give a much more detailed quote for the joinery pieces. Once a joinery company has been confirmed, they will then work up working drawings of the joinery pieces where the much more finer details will be discussed between them and the client plus an interior designer if needed. The good thing about having a joinery drawing is that majority of the work and the decisions have already been made 
before it even gets sent to the joiner. So the client has a much better idea of what they are after and it makes the communication process a lot easier. Service number six is joinery renders or CGI's. When I say CGI, I mean computer generated images. Having a CGI of a joinery piece brings it to life and it's a lot easier to understand what's going on and what it will look like in situ rather than on a 2D drawing. You'll also get a better understanding of what the finishes will look like on the joinery item. Service number seven that we can offer is elevation drawings. Now these are detailed elevation drawings of a room which are to scale. They can show a range of different information such as lighting positions, finishes, architectural details, any fittings and finishes including paint finishes or wallpaper. These drawings are extremely useful when designing a bathroom. The reason being is that you can do full sanitary wear set outs on elevation drawings and it provides full working drawings for the bathroom contractors. These can be done in either grayscale or colour options. So if it's grayscale it will be all coded and it will refer to a schedule which will be sent alongside the drawings. If it is a full colour elevation it will have the chosen paint finishes or wallpaper finishes within the elevation along with any joinery and other hard finishes that we have chosen. Surface number eight is tile layouts. So this kind of goes hand in hand with the bathroom elevations. If you're having a bathroom renovation, I would check that your contractor who is laying the tiles doesn't offer this service as some of them can do it, they just don't always offer. The reason why I offer to do tile layouts is that it's a brilliant way to set out exactly how you're laying the tiles. So if you have a highly patterned or a marble tile, it is a brilliant way to lay them out to make sure it's pattern match. So pretty much the same as the wallpaper. And if you have marble light tiles, it's actually called book match and you can create some stunning patterns if you do it this way. Another huge advantage of doing tile layouts, you'll be able to see exactly where the grout lines are going, which goes hand in hand with the sanitary wear layout. You have grout lines running through a shower control or bath control. It's not as bad if it's centred, but if it's not centred and it just throws off, it's not symmetrical. That's one of my pet hates and doing the tile layout can avoid making them mistakes. I have decided to split this vlog into two parts and I will be uploading the second part next week which will conclude all of the services which you can get provided by an interior designer. Speak to you soon, bye!